Mumbai Expressway will be the longest expressway in India, which will which will enhance the connectivity between India's national capital Delhi and financial capital Mumbai. The 1,350-kilometer eight-lane Greenfield Expressway is being developed at a cost of 90,000 crores. The corridor also provides connectivity to urban centers of Delhi through Delhi, Faridabad, Sohna, and Jawaharlal Nehru Port from Mumbai. In addition, the expressway which passes through the five states of Haryana, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat and Maharashtra will also improve the connectivity to economic hubs like Jaipur, Kishangarh, Ajmer, Kota, Chittorgarh, Udaipur, Bhopal, Ujjain, Indore, Ahmedabad, Vadodara, Surat. Delhi Mumbai Expressway is envisaged under the vision of Honorable Prime Minister's New India and was kick-started in 2018 and the foundation stone laid on 9th March 2019. Out of the 1,350 kilometers, contracts for more than 1,000 kilometers have already been awarded and construction is underway in more than 680 kilometer of the expressway. The two sections of the expressway, the Delhi Dosa section, which is part of the Delhi Jaipur Expressway, and the Vadodara Ankaleshwar section, which connects Vadodara to the economic hub of Baruch, are likely to be open for traffic by November 2021. The complete expressway is planned to be completed by January 2023. The new expressway is expected to halve the commute time between Delhi and Mumbai from nearly 24 hours to 12 hours and shorten the distance by 130 km. This will generate annual fuel savings of more than 32 crore litres and reduce CO2 emissions by 85 crore kilogram, which is equivalent to the planting of 4 crore trees. 15 lakh trees are planned to be planted along the highway as part of NHAI's commitment towards environment conservation. Minimizing environmental and wildlife impact has been a cornerstone for Delhi-Mumbai Expressway. The expressway is the first in Asia and only the second one in the world to feature in animal overpasses to facilitate unrestricted movement of wildlife. The DME will have three animal underpasses and five overpasses with a combined length of 7 km dedicated for unencumbered wildlife movement. The expressway will also include an iconic eight-lane tunnel, one of its kind in the world, tunneling through Mukundra Sanctuary without disturbing the endangered fauna in the region. The Marquee project is an engineering marvel as 1. More than 5 lakh tons of steel will be consumed in the construction of the expressway which is equivalent to building 20 Hawra bridges. 2. Almost 50 crore cubic meter of earth will be moved, which translates to 60 lakh truck trips during the course of construction. 3. 35 lakh tons of cement will be consumed for the project, which is approximately 1% of India's annual cement production capacity. DME has also created employment for thousands of trained civil engineers and more than 50 lakh man days of work. One other unique aspect of the Delhi-Mumbai Expressway is the setting up of 92 wayside amenities to improve user convenience and safety along the corridor. Wayside amenities will house petrol pumps, motels, rest areas, restaurants and shops. These wayside amenities will also have helipads for increasing connectivity and evacuating people in case of medical emergencies. DME is one of the longest expressways in the world to be completed in record frame time of five years from conceptualization to completion. In comparison, some of the world's largest road infrastructure projects like 1,167-kilometer-long Trans-Java Road in Indonesia, commenced in 1995, took more than two decades to get completed in 2019. Similarly, the 217-kilometer-long Shintomai Expressway in Japan, commissioned in the early 2000s, took almost a decade for completion. The admirable feat has been achieved through a focused program management under the guidance of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi and Honorable Minister Sri Nitin Gadkari. The key challenges during the pre-construction stage were extensive land acquisition and timely clearances such as environment, forest and wildlife. Land acquisition for an area of 15,000 hectare land was completed in short span of time, with land acquisition for Delhi to Vadodara section completed in less than one year. In addition, the statutory clearances were obtained in parallel to save time during implementation.
To ensure faster implementation, use of technology is being promoted throughout the project life cycle where advanced technologies such as LiDAR, GPR, digital maps were used during the DPR stage followed by use of drone-based surveys. Equipment telematics, pre-casting during the construction stage. Additionally, the packaging of the construction was also planned scientifically to minimize overrun of time through intelligent tendering processes which enable simultaneous working at multiple stretches. DME passes multiple diverse regions such as forests, arid lands, mountains, rivers and extensive work has gone to ensure that the highway stands the test of time. Perpetual pavement design has been adopted from Delhi Vadodara section which passes through arid regions and rigid pavement design has been adopted for Vadodara Mumbai section with high rainfall to increase the longevity of the project. In all this, with our collective hard work and dedication, we at NHAI are silently making our mark in the story of India's progress.